something is moving through the void and it shouldn't be. At the edge of our solar system, a faint wanderer known as 3i, Atlas drifts through the dark. Yet its motion challenges everything we thought we understood about space itself. It's not coasting like an ordinary comet. It's accelerating, bending the quiet rules of gravity, as though pulled or perhaps pushed by an invisible hand. Scientists expected stillness, but instead they found a pulse, a strange rhythmic flicker in its tail that dances like a coded message written in light. This was supposed to be silence, empty, predictable, lifeless silence. Yet 3i, Atlas hums with an energy signature unlike anything in our cosmic librarian echo that fades, then returns as if space itself is breathing through this icy traveler. No ordinary debris could behave this way. It feels almost aware. Forged in another star's cradle, 3i, Atlas has journeyed across eons of interstellar dark to reach us. But somewhere along the way, something changed. Its chemistry, its light, even its rhythm. What could cause a comet to behave as though it remembers? As though it's responding to something unseen. Some dismiss it as coincidence. Others whisper that it's the first sign of a deeper phenomenon awakening in the cosmic sea. And if that's truth in 3i, Atlas isn't just passing by, it's speaking. The only question is, are we ready to listen? In early 2024, a cluster of telescopes across Hawaii and Chile captured something that didn't belong a faint elongated streak gliding against the black canvas of the night sky. It was small, dim, and barely traceable, yet its motion was unmistakably different. When astronomers at the Atlas Observatory calibrated their instruments, they realized the trajectory wasn't bound by our sun. This was no ordinary comet. It was interstellar an object from beyond our solar system, now crossing into our celestial neighborhood. They named it 3i, A-T-L-A-S, the third confirmed visitor from the stars. At first, it seemed harmless, just another wanderer, frozen and silent. But then came the anomaly. As it neared the outer edges of our solar system, instruments detected an unexpected surge of energy. The data revealed faint electromagnetic fluctuations oscillations too precise to dismiss as noise. It was as if the object had suddenly awakened. The scientific community hesitated. Was it a sensor glitch, solar radiation interference, or something entirely new? As days passed, telescopes from Europe, Japan, and NASA's Deep Space Network joined the observation campaign. Each reading told the same story. 3i, Atlas was behaving in ways no natural object should. Its tail wasn't reacting to sunlight alone it pulsed, shimmered, and changed frequency like a heartbeat, echoing through the dark. For the first time, astronomers began to whisper the unthinkable. Maybe 3i, Atlas wasn't just passing through. Maybe, hidden within its icy core, was a message written in the language of the cosmos itself. When 3i, Atlas was first confirmed, astronomers believed they already knew the script. Interstellar objects were rare, yes, but not unpredictable. Like Oumuamua and 21, Borisov before it, 3i, Atlas was supposed to glide through space untouched by external forces, following a perfect gravity-bound path written by physics itself. Cold, silent, obedient. But then something changed. The data began whispering contradictions. Its acceleration wasn't constant, it was erratic, pulsing. The shift didn't match solar radiation pressure, nor any outgassing pattern known to science. Comets, when heated by sunlight, released jets of vapor that nudged them slightly off course. But Atlas was too far, too cold, and moving too fast. There shouldn't have been any heat or gas or movement at all. And yet, it moved. Telescopes caught flickers in its tail bursts of light that appeared in perfect rhythm. Some called it coincidence. Others checked, rechecked, and still found the same pattern, a pulse that repeated every 41 minutes. Not random, not chaotic, structured, almost deliberate. It wasn't just the light. The spectral readings, the colors of the comet's reflected sunlight showed traces of compounds that shouldn't exist 
in interstellar ice, hydrogen cyanide, crystalline silicates, even complex carbon chains resembling prebiotic molecules. These materials suggested not destruction, but creation chemical reactions unfolding inside an object frozen for eons. Something was changing within it, as though the void itself had awakened the dormant process. But here's where the contradiction deepened. If 3i Atlas was truly an interstellar comet, it should have been inert, its chemical reactions long dead since leaving its parent star. And yet, it was alive, with activity defying the thermal and chemical limits written in every textbook. The equations stopped working. The models failed to predict. Some astrophysicists argued that unseen forces might be at play dark matter interactions, magnetic anomalies, or even unknown energy fields in deep space. Others urge caution, insisting on data verification. But even as debates raged, one truth lingered. 3-1. Atlas was rewriting what we thought we knew about cosmic behavior. Then came the most unsettling discovery of all. As radio telescopes began scanning the comet's vicinity, they detected faint signals echoing through the background static frequencies that matched neither natural emissions nor human-made interference. They were too structured, too precise, and every time the pulse from 3i Atlas flared, the signal followed. The universe doesn't usually speak in repetition. Nature prefers chaos, entropy, randomness. But this, this was rhythm, harmony, intention. Astronomers had no category for what they were witnessing, a natural phenomenon behaving like a transmission a lifeless object pulsing with the order of a living system. It was as if the laws of physics had paused for a moment to make room for something new. And that's what made 3i, Atlas, terrifyingly beautiful. It wasn't just breaking the rules of science, it was daring us to look deeper, to question whether those rules were ever complete. For researchers across the world, 3i, Atlas, became more than an astronomical curiosity. It became a mirror reflecting how little humanity truly understands about its own universe. At the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, teams spent sleepless nights reanalyzing spectral data, searching for patterns that might explain the comet's accelerating behavior. What they found only deepened the mystery. The readings didn't fit any known propulsion model, nor did they align with natural cometary emissions. For many, this wasn't just a discovery, it was a challenge to the foundation of classical mechanics itself. At NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, engineers and astrophysicists debated the anomaly in quiet conference rooms, their faces lit by simulation screens. The energy fluctuations were undeniable, but no one could agree on what caused them. Some suspected unknown outgassing cycles hidden beneath Atlas's icy crust. Others proposed that the object might be interacting with electromagnetic fields beyond the heliosphere forces we have yet to properly define or measure. One senior researcher described the data as behaving like music, repeating, structured, but out of tune with nature. Meanwhile, the European Southern Observatory coordinated with Japan's Subaru telescope, combining readings from different hemispheres to eliminate the chance of error. But every instrument, every wavelength, confirmed the same truth. 3i. Atlas was accelerating without propulsion. The numbers refused to obey. It was as if something unseen was guiding it gently, consistently, purposefully. Even theoretical physicists, usually sheltered from the turbulence of data collection, began to weigh in. Some connected the object's rhythm to broader cosmological theories, perhaps hints of space-time resonance, or quantum fluctuations on a macroscopic scale. Others wondered if we were glimpsing the influence of dark matter directly for the first time. But beneath all the analysis, there was an unspoken emotion awe, not fear, not alarm, just a quiet recognition that something extraordinary was unfolding. Scientists accustomed to certainties found themselves facing a poetic kind of ignorance, one that both humbled and inspired. Across every laboratory, one question echoed in silence. What if this is not an error, but an introduction? Each new reading made less sense than the one before. What began as a faint flicker in 3i, 
Adlas's tail was now evolving into something far more structured, almost intelligent in its pattern. The data from the Atlas Observatory showed a clear repeating cycle of brightness, fluctuating in exact intervals of 41 minutes, followed by a brief silence, then another pulse. This rhythm remained constant, even as the comet traveled millions of kilometers, defying every natural variable that should have disturbed it. It was as if 3i, Atlas carried a metronome within one that kept perfect time in the emptiness of space. The second anomaly came from its spectral composition. When astronomers dissected its light through advanced spectrographs, they detected the impossible amino acids and complex hydrocarbons forming in real time. These molecules shouldn't exist in an object exposed to such extreme cold and radiation. Yet somehow, inside the icy nucleus of 3i Atlas, chemical reactions were not just occurring, they were increasing in frequency. It was as though the comet was building something. Some researchers quietly speculated that the internal heat necessary for such reactions wasn't residual, but generated. Then came the most unsettling discovery. As the comet entered a region beyond the orbit of Neptune, radio telescopes across three continents detected synchronized bursts of low-frequency energy faint but unmistakable. These signals match no known natural emissions no cosmic background noise, no human-made interference. The pattern repeated every time 3i, at last brightened, as if the light and the radio pulse were part of the same mechanism. For weeks, data centers from NASA, ESA, and JAXA cross-checked the findings, searching for technical errors. None were found. Instead, new data poured in polarimetric scans showed subtle distortions around the comet like ripples in the fabric of space itself. Instruments calibrated for gravity waves even registered weak. Rhythmic tremors, tiny distortions, too faint to confirm, but too consistent to ignore. Scientists began to whisper of a resonance effect an object somehow vibrating in harmony with the quantum background of space-time. If true, it meant that 3i Atlas was interacting with the universe on a level no natural object ever had. But how? And why now? Every observation added a new layer to the mystery. The light that shouldn't flicker, the chemistry that shouldn't exist, the signals that shouldn't repeat. Each phenomenon deepened the sense that this wasn't random, it was deliberate. The comet wasn't simply reacting to the universe, it was communicating with it. Astronomers often say that the universe hides its deepest truths behind silence. But with 3i at loss, the silence was broken, and what came through wasn't chaos, but order. A message written in frequency, chemistry, and light. Whatever this object is, it's rewriting the script of what we thought reality allowed. And somewhere in the cold between stars, something ancient may finally be awake. Some suggest that 3i Atlas is nothing more than a natural fragment, a rogue comet carrying the chemical memory of a long-dead star. In this view, its strange behavior could be the result of trapped gases or exotic ice compounds reacting to solar radiation in ways we've never seen before. But if that's all it is, then why does the pattern remain so precise, so intentional? Others believe the explanation might lie deeper in the physics of space itself. Perhaps 3i, Atlas is interacting with dark energy or quantum fields, tapping into invisible layers of reality that ripple through the universe. If the comet is vibrating in resonance with those fields, could it be acting as a natural amplifier of the cosmos, a bridge between the material and the unseen? Then there are the dreamers, the ones who dare to think beyond our boundaries. They wonder if 3i, Atlas, might be engineered. Not by us, but by something older, something that uses celestial objects as carriers of information. If life elsewhere evolved not through biology, but through energy and frequency, could this be their language, a coded signal written into the behavior of a comet? And finally, a quieter, more haunting idea emerges. What if 3i, Atlas, isn't communicating to us, but through us? What if this interaction, these discoveries, these anomalies are part of a larger cosmic feedback loop, 
where observation itself shapes reality. Each theory offers a glimpse into possibility, but none provides certainty. Where the three I, A-T-L-A-S, is a mirror of our ignorance, a message from the void, or a phenomenon born of nature's untamed genius, one truth remains clear. The universe just revealed something it was never ready to explain. And then, a single observation changed everything. It happened quietly, almost by accident. A research team in Chile, analyzing days-old infrared data from the ALMA Observatory, noticed a faint but consistent distortion surrounding 3i Atlas. At first glance, it looked like noise, a harmless error caused by atmospheric interference. But when the data was filtered, the distortion formed a repeating spiral, coiling outward from the comet's nucleus like a ripple frozen in light. Each spiral matched the timing of the comet's pulse every 41 minutes without fail. That rhythm was no longer just a flicker in brightness. It was now visible in the fabric of space itself. The distortion wasn't limited to optical or radio wavelengths. It appeared to bend surrounding space-time, warping nearby starlight in microscopic but measurable ways. It was as if the object was vibrating not through energy alone, but through the structure of reality. The implications stunned everyone. If verified, this meant 3i. Atlas wasn't simply emitting radiation. It was interacting with the gravitational field around it. A frozen relic from another star system somehow capable of manipulating the very stage on which the cosmos performs. For days, scientists tried to rationalize it. Could a comet made of rock and ice produce gravitational resonance? Could simple matter behave as if it understood the laws that govern its own existence? None of the answers fit. The spiral pattern remained elegant, persistent, deliberate. Then came the reinterpretation that shifted everything. A physicist from Kyoto suggested that what we were seeing wasn't a signal from the comet, but a reaction to something else, perhaps the frequency the universe itself was generating. In other words, 3i, Atlas wasn't speaking, it was responding. The pause that followed was almost spiritual. For the first time, scientists realized they might not be studying the comet. They might be witnessing a conversation Perhaps 3i, Atlas was never meant to be solved, only witnessed. In its silent rhythm, we glimpse a truth older than science that the universe may not just be expanding, but awakening. Each pulse, each spiral, reminds us that existence is not chaos, but conversation, a dialogue between matter and meaning. Maybe consciousness isn't confined to living things, but woven through the cosmos itself, echoing in comets, stars, and light. And as we study the unknown, perhaps it studies us in return, reminding humanity that discovery is not about control, it's about connection. In the quiet vastness of space, 3i, at loss drifts onward a fragment of another world, carrying secrets we can barely imagine. Its pulse fades into the cosmic sea, yet its mystery remains, echoing through every question it left behind. Perhaps its purpose was never to reveal answers, but to remind us how much we still don't know. The universe hides meaning in motion, and sometimes in silence. In chasing the unknown, we don't just study the cosmos, we rediscover ourselves within it. Subscribe to uncover the next cosmic mystery.